This video is about flow and error control. In data communication, it requires at least two devices working together, one to send and one uh, the other to receive. Even such a basic arrangement requires a great deal of coordination for an intel intelligible exchange to occur. The most important responsibilities of the data link layer are flow control and error control. Collectively, these functions are called data link control. So, coming to flow control, it refers to a set of procedures used to restrict the amount of data that the center can send before waiting for acknowledgement. It coordinates the amount of data that can be centered, sent before receiving an acknowledgement and is one of the most important duties of data link layer. Flow control is a set of procedures that tells the center how much data it can transmit before it must wait for an acknowledgement from the receiver. The flow of data must not be allowed to overwhelm the receiver. Any receiving data has a limited speed at which it can process incoming data and a limited amount of memory in which to store incoming data. The receiving device must be able to inform the sending device before those limits are reached and to request that the transmitting device send fewer frames or stop temporarily. Coming to error control, it is both error detection and error correction. It allows the receiver to inform the center of any frames lost or damaged in transmission and coordinates the retransmission of those frames by the center. In the data link layer, the term error control refers primarily to methods of error detection and retransmission. Error control in the data link layer is often implemented simply. Any time an error is de detected in an exchange, specified frames are retransmitted. This process is called automatic repeat request. This is all about flow control and error control. Thank you.